everyone what's up and welcome to the channel right now in this video we are gonna check out some new leaks and news and more regarding season 8 of COD Mobile so definitely make sure to watch the full video and now with that out the way here we go. So let's start off with the release date for season 8. Karina has announced the update for tomorrow. I'm not sure about the other versions, but the Korean version will probably also receive the update tomorrow, as Karina and KR usually get the update on the same date. I'm not sure when Global will actually end up receiving the update. Now, the Battle Pass is scheduled to release on Thursday. So, okay. To note, I will have the full patch notes down below in the description. I'm not going to discuss them in this video as I have already discussed all of that content on the channel already. Now, let's move on some more to the possible daily login calendar for Season 8. So, according to leakers, there is a chance that Nomad, Groovy, Agency Cat, I'm not sure how to say that, could be the monthly login calendar character. Uh, this skin does not appear in any other versions of Call of Duty. Skins that appear in other games are usually like in the Battle Pass, crates, a Lucky Jewel, or a Bundle. Thus, this is the only other epic character skin that is not featured in any other content for Season 8. Therefore, it is possible that this Nomad skin could be the daily login calendar a character. Now, obviously, that is not confirmed. We are going to have to wait and see, but it is possible. Now, let's discuss another weapon coming to the game. So yesterday, the Chinese version of the game released a trailer for their second part of the Incarnation collab. Now, in this collab trailer, we could see a new character, but also we could see a new legendary melee skin. Now, originally, this was thought to maybe be a katana skin or a shadow blade skin, but in fact, it's not. According to leakers, it has a separate value and is located after the butterfly knife meaning it's a whole new weapon known as the Tang Dao. As you guys can see, you can perform multiple swinging animations similar to, for example, like the Kali sticks or the boxing gloves when you do hold down the shooting button. Now, this is confirmed to come to the CN version of the game, and as we know, Garena did have the first part of the collab, so it's most likely also coming to Garena at some point. Now, when it does come to Global, I am not sure how Global will end up receiving this weapon or even when Global will actually end up receiving this weapon. We are going to have to wait and see. But yeah, a third weapon is coming to the game to the CN version of COD Mobile known as the Tang Dao Sword. Now, let's move on some more to private matches custom settings. In certain modes for MP and BR, adjustable parameters page for custom matches has been added. Different modes will have different adjustable features available. For this update, the available features are listed below. So we have player adjustments, parameters for HP value, jump height, recovery speed for BR class and operator skills, not HP, regeneration are adjustable. Safe zone frequency adjustment, the ability to change how fast or slow a zone can shrink. Care packages, toggle whether care packages are allowed, a revival rules used to adjust the method and rules for reviving, BR class chip control, toggle whether BR class chips will spawn Alcatraz, and limit which classes are allowed. Then we have sound visualizations, Toggle where the players are alerted from gun sounds, footsteps, vehicle noises, etc. through sound wave icon. Then we have kinetic armor overcharger. Toggle whether kinetic armor overcharger spawns or not. We have ammo limitations. Toggle whether ammo amount is limited. Throwable limitations. Toggle whether amount of throwables are limited. Supply drop spawn. Allow whether supply drop spawn in the match. Weapon spawns. Control which weapons are allowed to spawn in the match. Throwable spawn. Control which throwables are allowed to spawn in the match. And finally, vehicle spawns. Control which vehicles are allowed to spawn in the match. So, okay, there we go. That is some new private matches, custom settings. Definitely a cool and neat inclusion into the game. Now, let's move on to our final topic of the day, which is going to be a new free version of Manta Ray. 
So, in Season 8, we can earn Manta Ray Black and Gold Shards in Seasonal as well as also Featured Events and this is according to Garena, so it is all official. Definitely a nice free version of Manta Ray to get in Season 8, so quite a big W. What do you guys think about that? Let me know down below. And with that being said, that is going to be all for today's video, so thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you did enjoy. But for now, that's all from me. Have a great day. I'll catch all of you tomorrow with a new upload. And for now, squally out and cheers. Bye.